Hey, so this is me trying to paint miniatures for the first time. It turned out kind of dinky, but hey, it was my first time, so I'm going easy on myself, like you should too, if you're painting miniatures, that is, or doing really anything artistically inclined. Um, I got cold feet trying to paint the real deal uh, shit, so I decided the next best thing is to paint my army men that I had since I was little. Luckily, I could find the box with my what little collection of army men that I had. I used to have like thousands of those little suckers, but um, over the years and my obligatory house burning down, you know, I kind of lost most of them. But yeah, I found a box and thankfully you know, they were there. So I would say it was a good idea. Uh, I was really messy and impatient the whole process of painting. Um, like the paint would dry really fast, I thought. And like, you know, I would lose the sun that's in my closed off like room that I can't see the sun anyways. So I tried painting the miniatures before, but I cut myself opening the box because I'm dumb and I hurt myself. A common occurrence, I regretfully assure you. I sent me follow the instructions uh, given to me in the Jazza box that uh, I know some people will be like, the Jazza box? That was like months ago, almost a year ago or something like that. Yes, I know. I was afraid to open it because it cost $300 and I was like, well, this is $300 and I'm not worth $300 and I'd fuck it up. So I didn't open it for a very long time. But here I am now, bitches, uh, painting shit that uh, I felt like I shouldn't be. But yeah, I followed it to not a T. I didn't dot my eyes or anything like that. I just put primer on it and then the rest I just painted normally. I didn't know that you're supposed to dilute the paint. And it was thick paint to say the least. But it still turned out okay. I liked it. Um, I had to put on less coats i guess but would not recommend just going balls deep into it and stuff you know um after i filmed the first two the army man and the cowboy when i was done painting it um i decided to paint some more guys the next day because fuck it man i was having fun you know then i tackled the creme de la creme the big cheese miniatures you know the uh crying guy on a on a um grieving that ghost girl and the ghost girl itself. So I had more practice and I did a better job of painting, I would have to say, um, than the army men, you know? I really liked how they turned out too, especially the guy on the rock grieving the ghost girl. I do have to say I fucked up on the ghost girl though. I added paint, the paint on shadow stuff, which is apparently a big uh, like newbie mistake is to be like, oh, well, it paints on shadow so I can just you know, paint it on anything, it'll, you know, be like a great brush over, no, it turned the white into a, a shitty poo color, and it was really bad, and I used uh, a paper towel to get off all the, the wet paint that I could, and it was still a shitty brown color, so I changed it to yellow, and then I used just a hint of the color stuff, the color shadow stuff, and it turned out a little bit better, but now it doesn't match. She has blonde hair and blue skin, and that doesn't fit at all. But, hey, you know, that's whatever. So, yeah, that's the end of my talky bit. Um, whatever is left, that's cool. I'll play a song. Um, if not, then I'll just play my outro music if it's not long enough. So... <laughs>
Thanks for watching, everybody. Good day, good night, and remember, don't go fuck yourself. Alright, see you later, guys.